setting the location, make sure that you check with your supervisor on what type of sandbox location you're going to. We've got a couple different types of locations and a couple different things that you need to know prior to going to location. The first thing that you're going to want to know is what the traffic situation is on location. Is it a back in or is it a pull through? What that means basically is am I going to have to back in my box to the unload area? On areas where we have to back in, we typically use spotters. So also check if a spotter may need to be used on site. If it's a pull through location like the one here, you may just have to pull in one way and pull out the opposite way. The other thing that you want to check prior to going to location is who's responsible for unlocking the twist locks. On some of our locations, the operators are responsible for unlocking the twist locks for the box to be unloaded. On these particular sites, the driver will actually stay in his cab during the unload process. However, it is still the driver's responsibility to make sure that those are locked prior to getting on any major roads. On other locations where drivers may be the ones responsible for unlocking the twist locks, the driver first needs to make sure that they have all of their PPE on prior to exiting your cab. Also, when exiting your cab, make sure that you use three points of contact. The other thing that you're going to want to make sure that you do before you arrive to location is you fill out all of your paperwork. Sandbox does not accept any drivers filling out their paperwork on site or at the loading tab. So make sure that's done prior to arriving at the well site. Now what we're going to do is walk through the process of unloading or unlocking the twist locks on this box. So we'll go back here. So as we walk back to unlock our twist locks, one good thing to do is a quick inspection on the chassis. Again, this inspection that you do on location isn't a full on pre-trip or post-trip inspection. It's just a quick get my eyes on everything and make sure that things are still in good working order, right? So we'll do this throughout this process. Another thing that we'll talk about here is this particular site has a loading tab. Now, loading tabs aren't required on all sites. Also, here we've got a orange line. This is a caution zone that is put up by the operators for the drivers to access their twist locks. So we're going to want to make sure that we stay inside of this line because again, Sandbox has a zero tolerance policy for any dance floor infractions. So make sure that we're not passing any of our barriers during operations or without following the enter and exit policy. So like we talked about, we're going to do a quick little inspection. Just make sure everything's good. Come here, make sure that our twist locks are unlocked. Again, the unlock position is pulled towards you. As we get to the rear of the trailer, we're going to look at tire condition, make sure that shocks, airbags, everything is looking good. As we get to the rear of the trailer, we're going to want to look at light condition. Make sure that all of our lights are here and also that they're in good and working order. So now that we've checked the lights, the lights are all in good working condition, we'll come around here and check the tires, airbags, shocks, everything. Everything looks good. So we'll go around here, unlock the twist locks. Again, for locking or unlocking the opposite side, Make sure that you never jump over the chassis. We always want to go around the truck or trailer to access these twist locks. Now that the box is completely unlocked, we're going to go and stand in a designated safe zone for drivers. Now the designated safe zones for drivers are either in the front of the truck or behind the chassis. Again, make sure that you are in one of these safe zones when that box is being unloaded so that you can make sure that that forklift driver knows where you are. Make sure that you are never on this side of the box whenever it's being unloaded or loaded. That forklift operator is not able to see you if you're behind that box. So make sure you're always in a safe zone. Once you have arrived, you can let that forklift operator know that your box is good to be picked up. Now that we're in a safe zone, we'll go ahead and go get our paperwork signed. 
Now you'll want to go to the mobile office and knock on the door so that they can sign your paperwork. So once your paperwork signed and completed by the operator in the mobile office, you'll continue to wait in a safe zone for your box to be taken off and an empty to be put on. Once the empty is put on your chassis and the forklift is back away from the area, you can then go and lock your twist locks. So same thing as before, we're going to walk down knowing that that forklift is back on the dance floor and we're going to lock the twist locks. So, next thing that we're going to want to check is our slide gate. Again, we always want to check our slide gate prior to loading a box and also when we receive a box at the loading facility. Again, we look under here Notice that the bar is inside of those safety latches, so we know that this slide gate is closed. So now we'll lock our other twist lock. Now again, just like we did when we were unlocking, make sure that we're not jumping over the chassis. We want to walk all the way around either the chassis or the truck to get to the other side. Again, you can always inspect your trailer once again just to make sure that all lights, tires, and everything are good. So again, visually checking the tires, making sure that we're in a safe zone while getting close to the edge of the dance floor. Now that we have all of our twist locks locked, we can go back to our truck and leave location. Again, once you leave location, be sure to upload your paperwork in the SBS app. Also, if you happen to be on a location where the driver isn't responsible for unlocking the twist locks and the operators on site are, make sure that once you've left location, that as the driver, you go and visually check as well as pull to make sure that the twist locks are in the locked position. As the driver, it is your responsibility to make sure that that box is locked during transport. So once again, always make sure that that box is locked, whether it's an inch, or a mile or 500 miles.